Okay. Hey everybody. Okay. Drink some water because not your papa your man. Okay. Hey everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Uh, welcome back to one of your favorite videos, which are my current faves. See what I did there? You see? Okay. Hey, welcome back to another current faves. I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I've been using quite a lot and that have stood out to me quite a bit. And I felt like, you know what? Tell the girls. Tell the girls and boys that these things, these things, they are... Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, uh, so I'm going to be showing you some of the things that I've really been loving this past couple of months, I guess. I, I hardly buy things um, at all um, lately. I don't buy anything. I feel like lockdown has made me very frugal. And I understand that lockdown has, you know, it makes you, you know, not dig into your pockets too much and all of that. But it's, it's, gen, it's just turned me. Like the only thing that I buy are books. And I feel like, how oh, baby. And there's food items as well. <laughs> okay. All of them are in here. I've put them in here, so, so don't, don't mind the basket if you see it here because all of them are in here, okay? Um, the first thing out are these. Now, I typically wouldn't talk about moist toilet tissues. I really wouldn't. But I feel like with age, I've become those, those goggles where, you know when you're growing up, your parents would keep tissue in the car? <laughs> And they put it at the back of the car so the car that's driving behind your parents car can actually see like a box of tissues like a box of kleenex so you be, you, come on you you must tell me that you know the story but anyway i've become the moist tissues in my car person and the reason i do that is because one there's a virus out here okay there's a virus out here you need to be washing your hands if you can't wash your hands you need to be wiping them down with something then sanitizing them this is why i have these in my car um i really like these for some odd reason i really really like these they don't leave my hands feeling excessively dry i just use them for my hands and i also use them for my steering wheel you know because if i'm gonna hold on and stuff I'm weird. I'm very, very paranoid about this virus and I would rather be paranoid than be dead or have the virus, okay? So I use these and these ones are enriched with aloe vera and chamomile, but I just essentially use them to wipe down my hands after I've been somewhere or I've been at a shop because of course you're holding uh, things that you don't know. Maybe somebody may, may have held it before and then maybe that person is into. Yeah, but so... I pick these up and then as soon as I get in the car, I wipe down my hands, blah, blah, blah. And then I put it in a safe spot. And then when I get home, I take it out and I throw it out. So, love those. And then the next thing out are a pair of sunglasses. I feel like you guys already know. Horanalit sunglasses, same WhatsApp group. Me, sunglasses, same WhatsApp group. There's, there's just, we don't need to even explain this really at this point, right? Um... With all the sunglasses that I have, these ones from Zara have been my go-to lately because I'm trying to pull off rich auntie vibes. One, I'm not rich, but I'm trying to pull it off. They always say fake it till you make it. So me, I'm a fake it till I make it. But these give me that very rich auntie vibe. Please don't talk to me. Why are you talking to me? If you're not talking, if you're not giving me money, don't talk to me. I'm playing. But these have very rich auntie vibes. When the bougie man, the sunglasses, eh? And I love them. With all the more expensive sunglasses that I have, none of them have this cat eye shape. They're very Kardashian-ish. Well, Kardashian-ish, maybe like two, three years ago. Who knows what the Kardashians are wearing now. But they're very Kardashian-ishy, very uh, cat eye. And cat eye reminds me of my favorite Kardashian. When it comes to sunglasses, it reminds me of Courtney. I don't watch the Kardashians. Maria, when Courtney clapped the heck out of Kim. Yes. 
bonds slam bill you need to calm the fuck that <laughs> and come comes there's folks down okay come down next uh, out is the planner that i got from typo now i'm not I, it's a planner it's a planner okay and this is a any year planner so it doesn't have like the year like 2020 or whatever no it's just got days of the week it's got uh what else does it have yeah, so it's got year, it's got the year, the months, days of the week and all of that. And you just fill the year in, which I absolutely love. These are from Poetry. I fell in love with this uh, planner the day I got the cup. If you watch my, my vlogs, you know which cup I'm talking about. But I fell in love with this planner and I've been using it ever since. It is a beautiful planner. Obvious, and I'm literally really thinking of picking up two or three others because it's a year, it's an any year planner, which I love. I love how it's 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 very minimalistic, it's very minimalistic in the way in which it looks, which is something that I really love about it as well. Um, I used to bullet journal a lot, a lot, but I stopped when life got crazy and got busy and got everything, and I was just like, I don't have the time to make my bullet journal look beautiful, artsy, colorful. I just don't have the time for that. So I would just rather get a minimalistic journal, planner, whatever, and keep it simple, but also quite effective. And that's what this one does, and I love it. Um, a perfume. Next out is a perfume. Now, we're not really going anywhere. Okay, it's only now that we're actually starting to go out and all of that. Um, by the time you watch this, it'll probably be some time since we've got gotten time to go out and all of that. But one of the perfumes that I really like when I'm out, which is very springy, is a Zara perfume. And this is Zara Violet Blossom. Yo, Luna. Luna, this perfume smells amazing. Yo, yo, but I sprayed it earlier because spray happy. Oh, you guys spray everywhere. You can just go ham with this. It's amazing. It smells so good. What I don't particularly like about Zara perfumes is that they don't last as long on the body. But it's odd because on men, there's a friend of mine that I once asked, Hore Batum, what perfume do you have on? And then he said something, something by Zara. And I'm like, wait, what time of the day did you do that swap swap? And then he's like, no, in the morning. I'm like, hey, it's the end of the day and you're still smelling so nice. Why? Because Zara perfume, Zara needs to, Zara is going to so. Zara is going to so. Because Logo now we want to smell nice the whole day. The whole day. But this perfume, I, it's it. It's it. It's the end all be all. It is it. We love. Uh, poetry, I love, I love poetry. I've decided I love that shop. I used to love the shop because I would walk in and buy clothes from the shop. But now they have homeware stuff. They've got, um perfumes they've got lotions hey they've got diffusers they they're just doing the absolute most and i feel like my diffusers i might just go and buy them from poetry because it's like, oh, that other shop that i normally get them from they are fair and they feel like a pig but anyway um uh, the one thing that i love from poetry is the hand creams as well this is willow moss a luxury fragranced hand and nail cream i'm telling you the stuff i put this on maybe about i'm doing my second video now so maybe about an hour ago my hands are still feeling soft like bara and you get two in a pack for a hundred rand it's up to you if you want to just treat yourself i know it's quite expensive for hand creams but if you want to treat yourself, treat yourself. So this one I did more specifically for all the questions that I got on Instagram about what Bible do you use. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that every night I will put up, some nights I don't, but most nights out of the week I do, uh, I'll put up a Bible scripture, a word of the day, and all of that. And I'll show bits and pieces of my Bible, the inside of my Bible. And I got so many questions from wonderful women who are like, what Bible are you using? What is it called? What, what, what? Are? So my Bible is, I've had this Bible for over five years, maybe. I absolutely love it. I'm even in on the market for another Bible, but I love this one. This one, I feel like I'll never let it go because it's very particular 
I'll tell you why. This is the new international version, a power, the power of a praying woman Bible, um, prayer and study helps by Stormy O'Martian. And basically, this is what it looks like, okay? I hope this helps. I typically wouldn't show a Bible as a favorite because it's, it's a Bible. We love Bibles. Why wouldn't you love Bibles all year round, every single day, you know? Um, but this one is really nice because it's got little study notes on the inside. It's got little um, phrases from the Bible, verses from the Bible, chapters that are good for when you are going through something. So when you're praying for um, decisions, desires, when you are praying for healing, recovery, when you are praying for... Uh, let me see uh, your faith your fears your mind when you're praying for purpose when you're praying for priorities it gives you certain scriptures that you can open in the Bible that's why I love it so much when you're praying for your husband when you're praying for your family I absolutely love it when you're praying for temptations you know to not be tempted it gives you it tells you read Mark and read Corinthians I absolutely love it this Bible is it and typically where I leave this is a bookmark uh, that I got from my sister it's called what is a sister and then it tells you um, but I absolutely love it I often leave the bookmark where my last reading was and then when I read the Bible again the next day uh, for my devotions and all of that then I move the bookmark again so yeah I hope this helps to everybody who's been asking me about what Bible I use. Right. And then um, moving on to makeup. Now, you guys know, I've spoken about this. I am not buying makeup. I haven't bought makeup since lockdown's mega down. I haven't bought makeup. I don't plan on buying makeup for the rest of the year. I, I told you this. I've got other priorities for my money and makeup is not one of them. So I have been using the makeup that I own and i wanted to talk to you about these two foundations now i don't go into the office too often i am back at the office sometimes here and there when i am needed in the office i'll go in and on days like that i feel like i just want i don't want a full face like i have on today but i do feel like i just want a light coverage where um and just cover up blemishes and hyperpigmentation and I feel like these two foundations do a really good job at it and I'm glad that these two foundations are lower end foundations so anybody can pick them up if you're a makeup lover you probably already have these if you do let me know what you think of them down below but I love them. the LA girl pro matte uh, foundation love this such great coverage this one is high high coverage it it really is it is it is but i really like it because i just use a little bit of it and it covers up everything that i need covered up and it has a matte finish which i love typically on any given day winter summer june july spring autumn i love matte foundations but um this one i was quite impressed with because it doesn't even feel heavy on the skin and my sister was the one who recommended this and she bought me one and then I bought it and then I realized oh my god I have one and then da 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 yeah but honestly really really love this one I definitely advise you give it a try and then for the light makeup days where I feel like I just want to look put together like if I'm going out or going wherever I just want to look put together but I don't want it to be a heavy makeup day this one from Essence baby girl and it's a mousse and i feel like this mousse essence soft touch mousse makeup does what bb bbc's <laughs> it does what bb and cc creams do for our ca caucasian counterparts it's light but it covers what needs to be covered which i love this is the soft touch um makeup from essence and my shade is number 43 and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. I typically just, um, I dip my brush in there and then I go all over the face. Barely use any of it, but I've used it so many times that I absolutely love it. Highly, highly recommend these for a light day. And this is great just, just if you like matte foundations or just if you like makeup, man. 
definitely try it out and let me know what you think love her and then the last thing is a mascara and i got this mascara in a press package for from for in a press package from maybelline and this is the maybelline colossal mascara i got i think four of these um and it's really great the reason why i say it's really great i mean there's not much you can say about mascara but i use this particular one for my bottom lashes and i feel like it does just the right just just uh, the right amount of work that i needed to do but also at the same time quite nicely without having too much product on it this is one of the reasons why i liked it so that's what it looks like as you can see and i really really like it just for the bottom the bottoms the bottoms bottoms lashes and i really 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 like it so definitely something you should give a try as well if you're looking for a mascara that's really really good for your bottom lashes we love her what about the food items what about the food items whoa 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 among big now i want to talk about these food items because one i don't think a lot of you guys think that i eat junk food and i want to throw that out there i do eat junk food i do eat pizzas i do eat burgers i do eat whatever but i just moderate what i eat i'm very 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 particular that okay if i ate pizza last week i won't eat pizza for probably the next three weeks and i'm just particular about it but things like chips and the chocolate i eat that that kind of stuff i really do and what i've been loving recently woo, and i pick them up all the time the uh, speckled eggs now this is sugar so if you're not on sugar right now don't get this but they're really good i don't finish all of this it's a small packet but i don't finish all of that in one sitting i'll just sort of like Put in one tunyana and then three days later I'm back one tunyana. That's how I eat my sweets because they're too sweet. I'm not used to eating things that are too sweet. But I really love those. But I am definitely part of the savory gang. And can we... Nasham, I'm not even... Okay. I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm unable to care. Hmm. Hmm. If I've got chips in my teeth, I'm sorry. But can we talk about the Lay's American barbecue flavored chips? Yo! She really is the girl she thinks she is. Mm. Mm. Nice. These are by far the best chips that I, I, I eat and I indulge in. These are dangerous. You can actually be sitting down and eating and next thing you know you're literally at the bottom of the packet like these are dangerous but they are so good they've literally overtaken my love for chutney flavored chips uh for smoked beef chips um the farmhouse barbecue flavored chips from woolies the tortillas from woolies they've overtaken all of that these are the bomb diggity dot com misery everything I highly, highly suggest, if you see, even if a, a small packet, if you see it in the shops, get this. Get it and try it. And then tell me what you think. Because, mm. that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to give you this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will definitely catch up with you in the next video. Be cool. Stay safe social distance we're still not out of this yet so yeah i'll talk to you in the next one Mwah.